fans and I've been tagged as part of the monster tag that's going around. I think it was created by the Soulless Trench Coat and it was Mark of Horror who tagged me into this. So thank you very much, Mark. Got Horror Hand Senior with me. So Hello. just thought I'd go through my answers to the questions and just pitch in if you want to agree or disagree, whatever. Mm -hmm. So the first question is, what is your favourite monster movie of all time? So you probably know my favourite movie is Jaws, but I thought I'd just go for a slightly different one to start with. And that is John Carpenter's The Thing. Because I just think this is a bit more of a monster film than what Jaws is. I think there's other things going on in Jaws. This one is like just the, the ultimate creature feature movie. It's like great effects and, and everything. So, yeah, The Thing. Classic John Carpenter. Definitely. Mm, one of my favourites as well. So the second question is, <laughs> what is your favourite type of monster? And mm. mine is, I've always liked kind of the ecological type monsters so the ones that are sort of spawned from toxic waste or like animal type monsters like jaws grizzly things like that something that comes from the sea or the woods or the swamp i don't know i just i just like things like that not zombies zombies you yeah. can't beat a zombie no no next question is what is the first monster movie you saw that scared you and does it still scare you? And for me, it's Alien. Which, Alien? Yeah. Mine's Halloween. That's not a monster film though, is it? It's a slasher. Well, there's a monster in it, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> Alien <laughs> is my answer. Um, yeah, I thought it was terrifying. Watched it not too long ago and still think it's terrifying as well. Just everything about it is just engineered to to scare you and creep you out. Uh, number four, what is your favourite giant animal monster movie? And this is where Jaws comes into it. My favourite film of all time, so, yeah. Jaws? Yeah, I've got the one with Jaws. Right, do you think Cavern in the Woods is the best monster film ever or not? Um, I don't think it's the best monster film ever. I love how it sort of starts out as a slasher film and then turns into a monster movie at the end. I think it has huge potential. I love the ending and everything comes out. That is just, it was Aww. so cool. It was awesome. And I think they should, they should, they should have focused on that more or do some sequels and have everything take place in that underground bunker where creatures of every kind attack the characters. Then you could perhaps have the best monster movie ever mm. because that was awesome. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna disagree on that one. Okay, you'll like the next one. What yeah. is your favourite classic Universal monster monster monster? Yeah, yeah. So I'm quite partial to Creature from the Black Lagoon because I do like things that come out of the water. But just for sort of the sheer iconicness and Quality of storytelling and makeup and everything like that. I've gone for Frankenstein. Yeah, very. Do you agree? Yeah. Well, there's so many classics in the mm. Universal, and but yeah, that is up there, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Frankenstein for me is the best of the the Universal ones. Yeah. What do you think is a very underrated monster film? Oh, God. And I've gone. Well, I've gone for Prophecy. Underrated mm. monster film. Yeah. Not the 90s Christopher Walken one, it's just from 1979. And it's uh, Robert Foxworth is an environmentalist who goes into like this forest to investigate pollutants from this like wood mill factory or something. And it's mutated all the animals and things like that. So they're attacked by like mutant bears and things like that. But it's a really, really good story. Quite a cautionary tale. Uh, wonderful performances from... from um, Robert Foxworth and Talia Shire, what's his name? Richard Dysart pops up in this as well. It's a really, really great, underrated mm. monster movie. I can't think of anything. That's all right. Yeah. He's just sprung me on. He's just sprung these on me <laughs> now. Yeah. So I've not time to think about any of yeah, these. Yeah, I've cheated this time because I know the questions. Yeah. 
Right, next one. What is your favourite monster from any mythology or folklore? Do oh. they have a movie? And if so, do you like them? Mine's got to be Talos. Yeah. Um, Jason the Argos. Jason the Argos. He scares me still. Mm. Yes. A lot of people have gone to like Ray Harryhausen and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Mine is Bigfoot. I love Bigfoot, like the Bigfoot legend. Mm. So there's quite a few films that I do enjoy, like low budget Bigfoot documentaries and mm. things like Abominable, which we watched. Yeah. Um, which which was awesome. Yeah. So that is my answer to that. But Talos is yeah. is cool. Pretty scary. What is a monster that you think should be used more in films? So I was thinking about this. I'd like to see some decent modern werewolf films, because there isn't many. Yeah, again, it's a difficult one, isn't it? Yeah, either that or more like crab monsters and sea monstery stuff. Crab monsters. Because there's not enough of them. What's the next one? What is the most unique monster in a movie that you have seen? And for that, I was going to say Pinhead from Hellraiser because not only does he look amazing the makeup's incredible I also think he's he's got quite a unique character he's like a demon from hell but he's, he's neither good nor evil he's just like a neutral he just sort of serves the box and the people who open the box mm. and I think that's quite unique and that's quite interesting mm. and it would have been easy to just have him be like a ferocious bloodthirsty demon but he's not he's just more of a stands back and and does the bidding of the box if that makes sense yeah but also an original character yeah definitely definitely yeah yeah right favorite monster from a non-horror film i have gone for mm. she love from lord of the rings right. giant spider could you class a dalek as a monster yeah because I think Daleks, yeah, Daleks. growing up with Doctor Who as a kid, used to, used to hide behind the settee every yeah. time one come on TV, and they're still, still up there as one of the yeah. scariest. Yeah, Daleks are cool. Um, so yeah, and like I say, she loved from Lord of the Rings, giant spider. So that's our answer. I like spiders. So do I. Well, I suppose we get that twenty foot. Don't have to worry, in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do you believe in cryptic? And if so, which ones do you believe in? And do you have a favourite? I had to look this up. It's like creatures that are like... So this is deep stuff, isn't it, this? <laughs> so creatures that like are fictional, like do they exist or not? So things like Bigfoot mm. and Loch Ness mm. and stuff like that. So I would like to believe they exist. And I'd like I say, Bigfoot is my favourite. Mm. Do you believe in Bigfoot? Yeah, I suppose it's something, isn't it? <laughs> you say there isn't, yeah. Yes. But, yeah, Loch Ness is a good one, isn't it? Because it's a mm. bit more uh, local to us, I suppose. Mm. I only have one Loch Ness-themed horror film, so it'd be nice to see more of them. Mm. Um, what is your favourite era for monster films? Mm. Mine's the 1970s. Mine's got to be 50s ho uh, Hammer. Yes, I Hammer horror, say that. Because I was brought up on Hammer Horror and... Still my favourites now. Yeah, yeah, so 50s Hammer Horror, 70s mm. for me, when like Jaws came out, then you had more sort of Jaws knockoffs mm. and when Animal Attack type monster movies, so mm. I like them. Universal are very close. Yeah, 30s. Mm. Yeah. 30s and 40s. Yeah, it's a tough question. Right, this one's good. You've got to choose mm. from one out of these six monsters to protect you. And the other five will try and kill you. Okay? Yeah. So which of these would you like to protect to protect you? A graboid mm -hmm. from Tremors, pumpkin head, mm -hmm. a hundred gremlins, one predator, Frankenstein's monster from the original, mm -hmm. or the thing from John Carpenter's the thing. Which one would you like to protect you from the others? Oh, give me that. I think probably Predator. I'm thinking Predator. Yeah, it'd be great to check out with you. you know, nobody would give you any ass, no. would they? If you took walk, Def, walking no. around Notting Hill, were you? No, definitely a Predator. The only thing that concerns me, if, it's, if the thing's already taken over the Predator, then you're in trouble. But yeah, I, I thought the Predator. I have thought of that. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. So yeah, I, yeah, we're going to go for the Predator on that one. I think the only way you'll stand a chance is mm. with him. 
So, yeah. So that are, those are our answers for the monster mm. tag. I'm going to tag a couple of people as well. I'm going to tag Rob from the Wacky World Lounge. I'd love to hear your answers. Tony from Horror in Todge. Lee from Roasted Schools. I think you'd have some interesting answers. And uh, Al from Super Ghidorah with your Japanese keiju monster background. So, mm. yeah, I'd love to hear any of the thoughts from you guys. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Yeah, I want much help, unfortunately, but uh, you some, some great, great, some great uh, questions there. Definitely, wasn't there? yeah, yeah. So thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Cheers.